Hey, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Quiet Confidence. Today, I'm going to be sharing my secrets as an introvert in the direct selling industry and how I maintain my sanity at all of the large company events that are throughout our year. It took a little while to realize that I needed some extra TLC for myself to maintain that peace, but I'm excited to share them with you today. We will see you on the inside. All right, part of your enthusiasm and excitement and love of your direct selling business has to do with these fun girlfriend events that we have throughout the year. After going through several years in my direct selling business with all of the different seminars and get togethers that we had, I realized at the end, actually having gotten sick many times afterwards that I needed to do some different things to take care of myself and create some boundaries that even though I may be expected to participate in everything in a certain way, I am going to take care of myself first so that I can best take care of everything else, including my business. So here are some of the boundaries I put into place. First, we're going to cover items of comfort, the things that help me feel best in my skin. And then I'm going to tell you some other things that I did to help while going through the several days of a particular conference. Hey, if you like what I'm sharing, be sure that you stick to the end. I have a really great resource for you. It's a checklist. It's a pretty checklist of all the things that I'm going to be writing here on, but I want you you to be sure that at your conferences and seminars that you are the best you that you can be. Let's start talking about your physical comfort. Okay, you're in a big place with lots of people. You cannot control all of that. However, you can control and how you feel in your own skin. So first and foremost, bring something to keep yourself warm. These large events are always pumping full of air and you need to be sure that you are not tense because if you're tense, your muscles are cold and you're you know, surrounded by all these people for long periods of time, you could turn into a headache, turn into a stomach ache, turn into a walking anger zombie if you don't take care of this. You must be warm. Okay, so what do you do? Bring a coat. Um, I was always asked in my company to wear skirts and dresses, and so be sure that you have something for your legs if that's the case. You can bring your pretty shoes, but also bring your comfortable shoes with you. You need a tote. For the tote, be sure that it has some padding up here, and if you can remember, switch arms, or if you don't mind being all dressed up and wearing a backpack, that's going to be best for you. Okay, you ready for something else to wear? Usually to get the crowd hyped up they're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy things with lights so I found that to help my help me feel good in my body to bring sunglasses and actually wear them when the lights are out and these lights are strobing all over the place now lots of light strobing and sensory type things can really do a number on your nervous system so sunglasses I even close my eyes a lot of the times okay it's important to be warm it's important to take care of the eye area this one next thing I'm gonna be sharing with you is a thing that has made me most comfortable at not only large seminars but hello the movie theater any place where there's gonna be loud music and that is earplugs they help me concentrate so much I keep them in my drawer here at my desk to help me think better you will enjoy the experience so much more if you have protection in your ears. So let's review. Blanket or coat. Pretty shoes and comfortable shoes or just leave the pretty shoes alone. It depends more about your personality style. But sunglasses and earplugs. Do you want to be extra, extra prepared? Think of your feet. How about band-aids? Maybe at the end of the day having some kind of like little foot spa thing you do in, the, in your room. Before we get on to the next part, I had two more things to talk to you about. Comfort of your body. Food. You need food you probably don't want to stand in line because you're already around a lot of people. To stand in a line with a bunch of grumpy people is not what your body needs right now. So be prepared with food. If you're flying someplace, find a way to get food once you get there or pack in your suitcase things like almonds, dried fruit, breakfast bars, things that you can reach for at a moment's notice. Next thing, water bottle or some type of drinking container. I, again, am cold at these places and when I have snacks, I like to have almost like a little ritual with coffee or hot tea. So what you can do is you can bring some sort of a container, fill it up with hot water. You might want to ask whoever's selling the coffee or whatever if you could just get a container, but you know, order something else if you want. Or maybe your friend, your friend's going to go get coffee, see if she can get some hot water as well. Put it in there, bring your own tea, or they even have like coffee bags in like tea form. Bring the coffee bags. 
And then you can also get the little creamers, either the powder creamer or actual cream that doesn't have to be refrigerated. You're all set. Your tummy's happy. You're warm on the inside. You're warm on the outside. You're protected from too much stimulus and you are set for a great day. Okay, now it's nighttime. Let's talk about the situation. If at all possible, stay by yourself in the hotel. Even if you're in town for, even if you're in town for the event, I always would go to the event and stay there because it was too much for me to keep switching back and forth between work, home, work, home. I was burned out from work, going home to some potential who knows what with the children. Um, it just, it was too much for me. So I knew that I did better if I could get in the hotel and stay there. To be alone in a hotel, depending on in which city and what hotel, it can be fairly expensive. So I give you permission to find a less expensive hotel, hopefully something on a route where you can get to where you need to be. Hopefully it's close enough to the convention center or close enough to the other hotel that has the convention in it. Having alone time, sleeping alone all night, getting great rest, being able to take care of your needs in the morning is going to serve you so much better than trying to make it through three or four days in a room full of people. Okay, so let's say you have to stay in a certain hotel and you're choosing to stay with people. Try to make it as few as possible. Okay, there can be four to five people depending on how many people you want to squeeze in a room, six people, and how much you want to cut costs. But your sanity and your health is much more important than staying in a room full of people. If you are spending time, if you are staying in a room full of people, be sure that you communicate what you would expect, okay? This, uh, this is what I would usually tell the people that I room with. And everybody loved rooming with me, so. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take my shower at night. What does that give me? That gives me some time alone in a nice hot shower while they're out there talking about their day and getting their energy that they love to have. I'm by myself in a nice warm place, quiet, decompressing. From there, slip in your handy dandy earplugs in your set for sleep. Okay, you need a little TLC. Remember, you've been on your feet all day. Do something nice for your feet. Maybe bring some types of essential oils and give yourself a shoulder rub. Rub it on your feet and your legs. In just the whole experience of the essential oil will help you to calm down. Now I'm gonna share a couple of my favorite strategies to regain some peace when I'm going full, full out on a day full of learning and celebrating at these large company events. Number one, find the first aid station as quickly as you can. Any large event is gonna have first aid station. Usually there's people there for you in case something happens to one of the people at the event. I found this out only because at one point I was I was nursing my children, so I had to pump. The first aid centers usually have an area where you can go that you can lay down and there's a drape that closes, okay? You need some new time and you can't make it back to your hotel room, say, excuse me, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, may I lay down? And then they ask you questions like, should we take your blood pressure? Do we, should we call an ambulance? Just say no, this is just me. This is how I how I react. I just need some time to lay here for a few minutes. Maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you're up, you're out, you're back, you're back and you're going. If you cannot find that, or for some reason they won't let you lay there, take your stuff, hightail it to the closest bathroom, lock yourself in a stall and stay there for a while, okay? Get comfy. I was gonna say take your shoes off, but that's kind of gross. Nobody's gonna be standing there to see how long you're in there. Another great thing that I do is that during some downtime, go to a part of the convention center or hotel where there is there, there's less traffic. And I would just sit down, plug my phone in. Usually there's um, plugs for when people are cleaning the carpets. You can sit down. This is a gr another great way to protect your headspace while you're around, surrounded by many people is your phones. Like listen to music. Listen to music that's calming you, that, that um, you love the best music music that makes you happy and that way you're walk you're walking through the world but your head is not in the world it's enjoying this music let me give you two more tips number one it may be expected of you to stay to the very end of whatever event is going on whether that means it's really late into the night or it may be expected of you to stay to the very end of a particular event they may say we all stay to the end or how would it feel if you were on stage and everybody was leaving I completely understand how we don't want to be rude to the people that are on the stage. We care a lot about them. However, we need to be able to take care of ourselves. And if I was on the stage, I knew that the people that would want to be there would be there. And the people that needed to take care of themselves would go. And I would be fine with that. And the final thing that I'm going to say is be sure that on the front end and on the back end of your trip, that you create a buffer, which means you're maybe the day before you leave, take the day off and do some really slow things. Maybe get a massage, get a facial, go do something that you love to do. Go sit outside at a park and drink some coffee. And then on the back end, make sure that you take some decompression time by yourself before you 
re-enter into your family zone. That way you can take care of yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, and that way you can be there for them 100% when they missed mommy so much, you can come to them as a whole healthy person. I really do hope that those things that I suggested to you make a big difference in your next large company event. Like I said, be sure that you click below so that you can get the really sweet checklist that I put together for you down there. Wait, I forgot something, I forgot something. Okay, go back to where we were talking about what to bring with you to the convention center to help keep you warm. Your mind's gonna be blown. Here it is. Do you know that there are these heating pads that you can tape onto your shoulders? Let's say you have tense, tense shoulders, and I can't remember what they are, but you can find them at the grocery store next to like the Bengay. It's a, it's, a, it's a pad that heats up when you take it out of the pouch. And it heats up, it stays warm for a long time. Okay, so maybe you don't have sh tense shoulders. Put that thing around your core, front of you or the back of you. It'll keep your core extra warm so that you aren't having that tension. I can't believe I almost forgot that. That's my favorite little tip. And I hope it serves you well. Okay, thanks for hanging with me for this quiet confidence. I will see you next time. Be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.